All right, we got some anime man content called what is your worst opinion on anime asking weebs in Japan. I don't think you can be a weeb if you're Japanese because a weeb is a shortened form of a Western person like Eastern culture. They're more otaku, but hey, let's see what these weebs got to say. Give me your hot takes. How's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man and right now I am in the dead center of Akihabara, aka the mecca for weebs and otakus. Yeah. Now I've noticed that since the pandemic, have you guys been to Akihabara? With the Japanese yen being so low, I do want to make a trip there and just like buy a bunch of merch and shit. But I got a fucking stream, man. Pandemic has ended. There has been a lot more foreigner otakus walking around yeah. this neighborhood. Look okay, so we're not going to be asking Japanese people. So him and, you know, calling them weebs is accurate. For their next anime fix. But as we all know, every anime fan has a flawed anime taste. So Yes, and my flawed anime taste is... What is my flawed anime taste? I think that for the most part, I'm a pretty level-headed and a reasonable person that doesn't go out of the way to make people mad. Now, Tomo-chan is a genuinely good rom-com show. Unga Boonga Slayer? That's not even a hot take. Me thinking Demon Slayer is an Unga Boonga fucking, you know, no plot but absolute hype? and understanding why he gets the viewership, that's very reasonable. Echi? I farmed the shit out of Echi shows as well. My flavor palette, my depth of anime is pretty fucking good. I give every genre a fair chance. And of course, the more battle shown and the more exciting things are something I'm going to flock to. But I hear a lot of people getting mad at me because I think that Days with, Days with My Stepsister, a slow burn drama, is something that I don't enjoy because it's like a slow... Because I call it... I can think that it's good, but it's definitely something I don't enjoy. And you can't tell me that sitting there for fucking 40 seconds watching them fucking eat filler animation is supposed to set the mood. No. How come I can watch shit like Oshinoko? How come I can give in-depth commentary 50 minute long on animes that doesn't have any battle combat, but through the sheer dialogue and character interactions? You call me the god of anime when you watch those shit, but because I called your fucking slice of life fucking stepsis anime garbage that you're going to get mad? There's no consistency. There is no consistency with people trying to criticize me for my takes on anime. I think that all of my anime takes are very level-headed, and even my hot takes are grounded in reality where there's a winning condition with a logic that is irrefutable. I wouldn't just, like, commit to a hot take if I didn't think that there was a win condition. I'm not just trying to sit there and make you fucking mad for no reason. Even, like, the hottest take was me saying it's a joke, saying Frieden and walking around through the fucking forest and showing the blue sky is supposed to be set peak atmosphere. Listen, I can joke around that. I don't actually believe that. I think that my takes are incredibly fucking reasonable. And if you're fucking mad at any take, you should take a deep look at yourself, pussy. Today, I'm going to be going around the streets of Akihabara asking foreigner otakus what their hottest takes are in all of anime. Let's yes, go. Sir. All right, hello. What's your name? My name is Fran. Annie. I'm Mihai. My name is Anthony, but call me Ant. Tim. So my name is Alfred. Nice to meet you. Well, handle name is Akihari. I'm a cosplayer. Uh, it's oh. Woof. Colby. I'm Kyle. Hi, Sam. Hey, okay. Don't plug in. Rob. Rob. Lisa. I'm Zach. Oh, you got a silky smooth voice. Oh, thank you. My name is Cop. Your family Radio Tyler. Voice. Tyler. Uh, my name is um, Mr. Fox. I heard you were a content creator. Yes, I am. How, how many subscribers do you have? On YouTube, like around 500,000. Whoa. Overall, maybe around 3 million. Like Damn. On TikTok. 3 million Andy, hey, join the club, all right. What is your worst anime take? Something that if you tweeted it out, like Twitter will be on your ass for the rest of your life. I think Jujutsu Kaisen is garbage. Jujutsu Kaisen is garbage is a hot take because it's not garbage. It's a beautiful show to watch. It's very hype. The fight choreography is amazing. The musical direction is fantastic. However, the plot is weak. You can't tell me that Jujutsu Kaisen has amazing fucking plot, such compelling story progression. No, each point is just an excuse to have fights, and I'm totally fine with that. Just like Demon Slayer, right? I, there's not supposed to be incredible depth of story writing. You're just fucking watching it and enjoying the fights. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Finally, someone who agrees. There's like nothing deep into it. It's just like random like fighting. Fights. Yes, exactly. This anime is specifically for the shonen battle enjoyers. And the plot is just an excuse to set up these hype fights to happen. And if that is your expectation, then I'm not going to expect to, you know, think that like, I'm not, I wouldn't call Jujutsu Kaisen garbage because of this. But people have the wrong expectation and they're the wrong audience and they think it's garbage. But I don't think 
it's garbage. You're insane to think that Jujutsu Kaisen is garbage. If you've seen the anime and you're going to tell me it's garbage, you are so intellectually dishonest. You're trying to make people mad without even having a winning condition because it's sub it's objectively not garbage. But the plot is weak for sure. Like, I feel there's like an actual Fox. story, right? Fox. <laughs> I think Attack on Titan is mid. That's crazy. These, these dudes are out here. All right, why is it mid? I want to hear the logic. Let's hear the logic of why AOT is mid. Because I think the writing of AOT is on another fucking level if you've seen Beyond Season 1. <laughs> you don't mean that, dude. Why is it mid? Wow. Let's, let's <laughs> hear the logic. To the God damn it, got me with the goddamn sponsor for this mid-ass fucking gotcha game. Joey is pandering towards kids gambling. I'm kidding. Go use your discount code, uh, I don't know, Anime Man, and get your free 10 pulls. And back with the regular content. Doing so also supports this channel as well. Thank you, Higan Aerithel, for today's sponsor. Now, let's get back to the video. Use the I code. I think that Attack on Titan's pretty mid. And I okay, don't care why? about any of the new seasons. I stopped at, like, season two. That's a pretty... You stopped at season two, and you think AOT is mid? That is a fucking monkey opinion. Because season two already shows on the top of the fucking wall. Ryan are saying, let's just fucking do it. And everyone's like, wait, wait, what are you, what are you, what are you talking about? And Reiner drops the fucking thing. And Mikasa's watching from the back. And Eren is stunned. And we're all like, what's going on right now? What the fuck is going on right now? And Bert Holt's like, no, are you fucking serious? And then the drop happens. But I guess to that point, you don't understand why that happened. And everything is still trying to get to the basement. And until you get to season 3 and understand the actual story, some people could still dismiss AOT as just action slop. I guess that could make sense. Pretty hot tag. I figured. Alright, what's your second one? I prefer the original airing of Fullmetal Alchemist. I now, I haven't seen the original FMA, nor Brotherhood, so I have no opinions about this. But I think the popular opinion from what I hear online is, the original is mid because the anime ending and anime only ending, which was not faithful to the manga. However, I heard the original also dealt with a lot more mature themes with World War II and the Nazis and shit like that, which they didn't show in Brotherhood. But I don't know. I haven't seen either. Full Metal Alchemist. I don't know if that one's as much of a hot take, but I greatly prefer it. They're, they're, they're both pretty hot takes. I'm going to be honest with you, dog. Some accreditation on that one. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't excuse your hot <laughs> it got some cool tattoos. Take. Attack on Titan is shit. Why? Why is it Harsh shit? Harsh words, Oli. The last Why? season was terrible. First okay. The logic here is the ending is garbage, but the first three you're gonna say is amazing, right? Harsh words, Oli. The last season was terrible. First sure. three seasons were good. Any, do, yeah. do you have anything? I wouldn't say it's good. I say the first three is fucking amazing. The first season is like, oh, this is pretty hype, but I'm not sure if it's actually that deep. Second season, you get to little, learn a little bit more of the secrets and the plot twists, and you're like, what the fuck is going on? But a third season, you should be on your knees saying, this is the work of God. And by the end, I think you're supposed to be upset because the ending did not live up to the expectations of the audience, right? Since we're good. Any, do, do you have anything that is just as hot as that? No, he's more of an otaku <laughs> than I am. Do you have any, like, anime opinions at all? I think Chihaya Furu is the best anime. I've never seen this anime. Maybe this is a super base take. You're goddamn right it is. Shihara Furu is fucking amazing. Go watch Shihara Furu. 90% of Attack on Titan is just screaming. How much did you watch? Yeah. I... Yeah. There's a lot of scream. I don't know 90%, but there's a lot of screaming, sure. Watch. Uh, almost the entire first season. And you count... Okay, fuck you. Yeah, honestly, no, no, no. This is a guy that's seen almost the first season. So he has no understanding of the depth of the writing. However, what he sees in season one is just yelling. That's totally fair. That is totally fair. In season one, no, truly. Like, unless you're super fucking locked in, like, you're probably not going to be able to understand what's actually going on behind the scenes, right? Most of the audience watching this shit first time is like, oh, it's just high fights and people yelling. Totally understand that. First season. And you calculated that 90% you said? Well, I mean, there's going to be 853 seasons. It's all going to be broken down into Facts. 18 parts. Yeah. So <laughs> if we just based off numerical value, yeah, I'm thinking 90%. Well, that's your assumption that's scaling based off of, you know, because like your calculation is taking into consideration of future seasons that you haven't seen yet but i i can understand the memes i have to have some story i mean i'm one of the few people that agrees with that's so funny
I need to have some story, he says, as he calls Attack on Titan shit. But again, was season one, I'd have to revisit season one, was season one that lacking of a story? Season one, I think, shows you a lot, but doesn't explain anything. And if you rewatch, you're going to be shocked on the things that's been foreshadowed and happening right in front of you without even realizing it's happening in front of you. In that aspect, a newcomer watching Attack on Titan Season 1 thinking that it's just a battle shown in with people yelling, I can totally understand. But it's just so ironic that if he could just... But then it's like, again, you know how I say no matter how good your source material is, no matter how good Season 2, Season 3 is, if Season 1 was not good enough to capture the hearts the engagement of the audience, then there's no point. But I don't think season one was that lacking either. But purely in the sense of story, maybe it was lacking and it would turn people off thinking that AOT does have no story when they realize that, you know, if they only they could realize that, you know, just a season later, so much shit is going to go crazy. Look at Joey's face. As he says, there's AOT has no story. I want you to realize how ridiculous this is, right? Joey himself is saying in his head, Holy shit, this guy has no fucking clue. With Garnt that domestic girlfriends of masturbates. Oh. <sighs> One more time. One more time, my man. Few people that agrees with Garnt that domestic girlfriends of masturbates. I said I think the opening is a masterpiece. I don't I've never seen, you know, domestic girlfriend though. One of these days we should check it out. Oh. I, I, I don't want to hit you right now. I'm going to be honest, <laughs> Gurren no Yumiya is overrated. And it's not the best Attack on Titan opening. Okay, I disagree, but... Um, is that opening one? I don't know exactly which one this is, but I think the visuals... Isn't this the one people really love? Yumiya is overrated. And it's not mm. the best Attack on Titan opening. Okay, I disagree, but what do you think is the best Attack on Titan opening? I would say, like, uh, neither, like... Shinzo Osasagiyo or Jiyu no Tsubasa. They're great openings, but at the end of the day, when I think of Attack on Titan, I It's opening one. Because you've been anchored to that, because that's the first time you saw Attack on Titan and heard the opening, which re- which- it, Again, it's just all about nostalgia and anchoring your experience based on that first time and, you know, everything being based off of that. I think a good ending, Yumiya. I'm going to piss off so many people. That's what right, we like to hear. let's hear it. Attack on Titan is garbage. Okay, why? I tried why? on four separate occasions to watch yeah. it, and I yeah. cannot get through the first season. You are a dumb neckbeard that has the attention span of a monkey that can't even get through just the pure animation slop that most people can just watch. And if only you could realize the writing on the next level. Again, a bunch of people that can't even fucking finish season one and shitting on Attack on Titan for its writing. But it makes sense. It makes sense. Because the writing and the depth is sh it really truly shines beyond season one. And I can understand why if some people objectively care for that plot, that they don't see it in season one because it is mostly battle shonen, why they would think it's shit. Why is that? There's no reason to get a attached to any character because they're all gonna die. <laughs> like, it, here's, there's a death like every episode and it's like, dude, let me, let me attach to these characters, like let me learn about them and then kill- Levi squad. <laughs> Levi squad. Kill him when it means something. So from the sounds of it, you just hate anime where they kill off every single character. Yeah, it's boring. Well, were there significant deaths in Attack on Titan in season one? And when I say significant, I mean like the main roster. Cause like, Levi squad, you really care for that shit? Random foot soldiers, you really care for that shit? What was the most impactful character death? Petra, again, who, again, Levi squad. And people only gave a fuck about Petra because she's a fucking girl. No one cared about the other dudes in the Levi squad. These are insignificant cannon fodder that I didn't build up any attachment towards. Marco? Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. And that is insane because of the reasoning of how he died, you know? I don't want to spoil. You guys probably already know, but that relates to later when we realize a certain people in the group was actually not on our side and we're like, Holy shit! Did you like Akamega Kill? <laughs> no! Good man. Shingeki no Kyojin is a mecha anime because it got all of the- Shingeki no Kyojin is a mecha anime, he says, and I do agree. If you- If your semantics, your definition of a mecha anime is you piloting something else, then yes, the titans are simply flesh mechas and therefore it is a mecha anime the tropes all of the story porn based around it and if you replace all of the titans 
with mecha. That's basically the blood every of the kind of uh, every mecha anime. Are you perhaps a Hassan fan by any chance? I never watched any of his video. Okay, before. that's even scarier then. Fairy tale was not that bad. I don't think it's Hassan's original take that Attack on Titan is a mecha anime. I don't think so. All right. We got a girl here defending Fairy Tale. Any of his video. Okay, oh. that's even scarier then. Fairy Tale was not that bad of an anime. Remember, here is not that bad. Another anime that gets shit on a lot, and I don't know why it gets shit on because I've never seen it, but after watching SAO, I can definitively say the hate for SAO is unwarranted. If you were to have an actual genuine conversation with an SAO hater, I bet you they couldn't come up with actual opinions on why they hate SAO. They would probably latch onto some weak talking points like, oh, there's some creepy villains. That's not specific to SAO. Many other animes has that shit, but I don't see you hating on it. A lot of people hate on SAO simply because of the viral trend of hating on SAO and something popular back in the day. And again, I think it's very disingenuous when you say that you hate SAO, but you don't even know why you hate SAO. Straight up. You can't, even you can't even have an actual conversation and argue about why SAO is shit. And every talking point you will mention is not specific to SAO and they actually exist in different animes as well. Hey. <laughs> not that bad of an anime. If you think about it, yeah, sure, the fan service a little much, but everyone got The fan service is a little much? Is there a lot of booba? Got it. Wait, what do you mean everyone got it? Everyone. Happy got it. There are screenshots of him in a bunny suit. That doesn't justify that. Basically, they're whoring out not just the girls, but every guy as well. The show being good. Some people are like ready to crucify me for this. That's what I, I want to hear. I don't think it's that uncommon like a, of a hot take. It says monkey business here. Let's see if he's a monkey just like us. One Piece anime bad? I s agreed! No, agreed! Agreed! Pre time skip One Piece's peak? And then? Everything goes to shit as the pacing suffers due to the format of a long-running shonen without any fillers. The first fucking minute is... <laughs> Power, wealth, fame. I left it all there in one piece. The opening happens. Oh, recap for another five minutes. Then actual content for five minutes, then intermission scene. Then a little bit of, and then a little bit of actual content. Then it's seven minutes of original content, and the rest is fucking filler, and you're gonna tell me the anime is good. You can't. The manga is amazing. The source material is peak fiction, but the anime. Now it's using the Wano poster, and I hear the Wano part is pretty good, but you cannot genuinely tell me that post time skit, One Piece anime is actually amazing. I think that this is a very lukewarm take that a lot of people will get triggered by because they're associating this bad by thinking that they're saying One Piece manga, One Piece series is bad. No, 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 no. Think about the Dressrosa episodes. Think about all those episodes where nothing is happening and it's just fucking sad to watch. Anime bad? I stopped about like 180 episodes in. <laughs> You're quite far. I can like finish. 180 episodes in. Okay, now he's just stupid. This isn't even post time skip. Fuck you. You witnessed Alabasta. And you're gonna tell me One Piece anime bad. No, I take my- I take- I, I, I just did a shit little defense for him for no reason. No, fuck you. You're not one of my monkeys. No. Finish that as- Nope. That's it. What about the manga though? I have not read it because it's such a big commitment. I don't say like the One Piece story is bad, just the anime. In my mind, Brotherhood or original? ちょっと面白くないなって思いました。で、いつのやつがラブフィールだよ。そう、なんで面白くないと思った?ちょっと話が遅いし。is this true? I'm gonna assume it's Brotherhood. I thought the story was kind of slow and the plot progression was mid. Any FMA enjoyers in chat? Well, if you're an FMA enjoyer, you're gonna be more lenient. You're not gonna go out of the way to agree with this guy, right? Is this true? Is the pacing of the anime that bad? Damn, that's a hard take. Alright. Thank you. Most people think. Oh, we're gonna stop there. We're gonna stop there. We're already reaching almost 20 minute mark, but that's the video. And depending on how well the performance of this one does, we'll continue this series. But please go to the Anime Man, give it a like and sub to it if you like. And I'll see y'all in the next one.